Well, I think I can speak uh, for all of us when I say uh, in terms of the ambassador being here, how much we appreciate the focus that you bring to this special relationship with the United States has with Israel, uh, and especially, especially now uh, as we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Balfour Declaration. And I had, I'll just share with you all, I, I had the honor yesterday to call up on the House floor our resolution honoring the Balfour Declaration. And of course, that resolution passed by unanimous consent in the United States Congress. But after, after the creation of a Jewish state was supported in the U.S. House and Senate in 1922, and on May 14, 1948, the United States became the first country, of course, to recognize Israel, one of the proudest moments in our nation's history. On our committee, we remain proud stewards of our nation's long-standing bipartisan support for Israel. We all know that this relationship is not only strategically necessary, but it is a moral imperative. Israel is a bastion now of free market democracy in a sea of totalitarianism and in a sea of chaos. And it is such a remarkable journey that we've seen Israel make in a generation from bondage and from annihilation to freedom and to prosperity. And I think the United States deserves uh, uh, some credit for our support, but I think we should also admit we derive great benefit, great benefit from this relationship. And that benefit comes in terms of our security, in terms of our economy, in terms of the innovation which the Israelis are on the cutting edge of, and most of all, in terms of the reinforcement of our shared values as Americans. Protecting that relationship is essential to protecting our national interest and in defending freedom and defending democracy throughout the world. Therefore, it is critical that we work in a bipartisan manner to confront the challenges the two countries face. And I want to thank Elliot Engel, my partner uh, on that committee, in terms of his efforts uh, to work with me as chairman uh, in order to push through the support for Israel. And it also requires that we have good communication. And as a result, we've been able to pass some of the most consequential legislation to come out of our committee in years. In the last two months alone, we've passed a bill to sanction Iran's ballistic missile program, a Hezbollah sanctions bill, a bill sanctioning foreign entities that support Hamas, which we passed out yesterday, and the Taylor Force Act. And in the, and in the span of two months, two of these bills also passed the full House of Representatives. A lot of the bills could have been sunk by partisans. But with, uh, with Elliot Engel and with me guiding this legislation, it did not. And that is because when you have bipartisan buy-in, the, pro the uh, product, the results, is enduring. So I thank you all so much for being with us here today, especially the ambassador. I thank you for your tremendous support for Israel and the United States. And uh, Ron Dermer, you have been so key to the successful leadership that the uh, U.S.-Israel relationship here has created, which turns 70 next year, an anniversary that uh, all of us will celebrate, but it would not have come without all of the leadership we've seen in Israel and in the United States, and frankly, right now you're the bridge. Thanks very much.